So hello there, my name is Lanius and I'm back at it again. So I'm also trying a new mic so the sound might be different, hopefully better. And I was planning on coming back earlier but hmm, for the long weekend I had I was just sick and not only that my throat was like on fire so it was like not even possible to just you know record and talk for like 20 minutes and not die afterwards I guess but anyway let's go straight to the video so I've made some videos talking about AI but maybe mainly how to play with AI or to you know create your own tools that use AI and also I started AI generating thumbnails for videos and well probably this video will also have one I'm also going to make a video about Copilot and another AI tool but to not make it seem that AI is so nice and cool I feel like I should talk about this there is a dark side to generative AI and it's probably no surprise to anyone we've all seen some deep fakes I mean not only this you know joking the meme deep fakes with you know Trump and Biden playing Minecraft or whatever but also some like quote unquote live streams on some uh, hacked channels and accounts with some fake Elon Musk selling Bitcoin or whatever yeah but uh, this I mean it is hardly news at this point because it was like uh, three months ago but this what I'm going to talk about is like really crazy to me and I can hardly believe that it's even happening so this girl Olga Lojek an Ukrainian youtuber got her image her face stolen by Chinese bots and the Ukrainian part will be important in a moment but let's take a look at the video itself last wednesday i woke up habitually <laughs> went to check my phone and saw this message do you speak any mandarin i think someone steals your photos and videos on chinese social media at that moment, I had already known that someone was re-uploading my YouTube content to Chinese social media websites, which was annoying but didn't bother me too much. But when I went to check the links this person sent me alongside their message, I was shocked. Mm. This is not Olga. Her name is April and she's been living in China for 8 years. She has my voice, my face and she speaks fluent Mandarin. And here's Natasha. She's a 31-year-old Russian woman who decided to come to China to sell and advertise Russian food. This is so creepy. I feel so uneasy watching this. So yeah, imagine how creepy it is to discover yourself being basically used like this and here comes the Ukrainian part all these characters that possess Olga's looks are quote unquote Russian and are praising Russia in perfect Mandarin so what are they actually saying so let's see I then translated the videos with Google Translate and figured out the most terrifying part hmm. The narratives my clones were voicing sounded like blatant propaganda. Every single account that used my face seemed to have a hidden agenda that they were pushing. So, one of these characters is advertising uh, Russian food or some candies while also saying how 
Russians love China. The one saying these things is Natasha, but there are dozens of different ones. I kind of wonder why did they choose her? Why did they choose Olga? And it's extra fucked up that an Ukrainian girl's face is basically attached to all these propaganda bots that praise Russia. The problem here is quite obvious, like imagine her being recognized, but I, I guess it's China only content and it's rarely viewed outside China. She also mentions that the content of these videos, not only the, you know, visual part, might also be AI generated. So the stuff they're saying and also the voice itself. Such a content machine. But well, wouldn't people recognize it's fake? Well, let's listen to that. I didn't know before someone noticed me there and told me about it. What's crazy is that in all of these fake videos with my face, there's tons of people commenting things like, oh, you're so pretty, oh, I really want to meet you, oh, please reply to me in the messages. And all of these people do not even seem to question whether the hmm. human that they're seeing is real. What's interesting is that to me, my face does look a little unnatural it's way too filtered. Like, I can see the filter right here. And here. But my Chinese friend said that actually in China, all of the media is heavily filtered. And even if you look at like TV shows, they put filters on actors' faces, which I thought was crazy. So, in China, they basically put these face filters everywhere. Not sure if it's intentional to generate content more easily without being suspicious or if that's just the thing they do, but for sure it makes it way harder to realize what is real and what's not in their social media when even TV looks, well, kind of fake. I wonder, couldn't they like generate some fake person to base their bots on? It shouldn't be that much harder, but I guess it's easier if you have a video of someone and not just an image. Of course, the moral arguments uh, don't seem to matter here. And yeah, all these advancements in AI are very dangerous when in wrong hands and they're basically publicly available. And I can hardly I imagine any worse hands than Chinese government, for example. I mean, I can be sure who's behind it in this case. It might be someone on Russian part, which is like, well, equally bad, if not worse. I'd recommend you to watch the original video. It will be linked in the, in the description. And well, stay vigilant as the AI content is everywhere. I guess more so in China, but you know, Already there are so many AI arts that I have like an instinct to look for some AI things in like possibly, most probably, regular normal arts or photos. Sometimes just the vibe of a picture and image seems a little bit AI, but I can no longer tell for sure. And sometimes I only know it because I'm working with generative models myself and just see what they do uh, but sometimes they are too convincing so that will be it for today it's nice to be back and it's first video in a while with a script so it's a weird flex maybe I'm not stuttering as much as usual and maybe this is going to be a thing now we will see so anyway, thank you for watching, leave a like, subscribe and all that stuff, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.